We're you gonna have see the step out. down there. Mm -hmm. Step down. Right. How that comes out to allow this door to open and this door to open. Mm -hmm. So we're in an awesome neighborhood, Alamo Farmstead, mm -hmm. an older settlement and with nice big properties and. This is kind of fun for us because we're getting to show you a project that we don't always do, but that some people really need. And that is? A converted garage to a yeah. master suite. Converting it to a master suite. <clears throat> like a lot of homes, the, they were built with the master suites in the second floor, and this one now needs it. They really need to have a, one on the first floor. Yep. So it's an easy way to get a master suite that is very safe, and beautiful, very spacious. And of course, with this kind of property, they've already built another garage and they can build another garage if they want to. <laughs> so it's, it's a less expensive way to get a master suite. And this is gonna be a really nice project that we wanna show y'all, but we're here for the pre-construction meeting right now. So let's go ahead and listen in and see what's going on. Excellent. So what do we got, Courtney? So we have a garage conversion. Awesome. That Claire and, my, Claire and Ken have been thinking about for a while now. So everything's going to be happening in this space. We are going to be building up this existing floor up to that step okay. where we can um, create a new master bedroom and as well as a new master bathroom and closet area, enclosing their laundry room as well. How much of it are we building up? The entire room? No, we're only building up the five and a half inches of this step. In this area? Mm -hmm. All the way. Oh, okay. So it's just gonna be one step down instead of the two. Okay. And we'll not be changing the garage, or we'll not be changing the exterior door here. This is gonna remain the same. Mm -hmm. However, we are going to um, make this door for the water heater a little bit nicer. We're gonna be reversing the swing of mm -hmm. it, kind of dressing it up a little bit. But we're not gonna be changing the location of the water heater. That will remain the same. Okay. Now, there is a water softener system that we're going to keep over here. So mm -hmm. that's gonna remain in the same location. Mm -hmm. We're simply gonna enclose it with closet. And then we're going to put a second closet on the side. That'll just be a simple reach-in closet with single raw, single shell. Okay. About in this area here, this will be the new, you're gonna enter into the bedroom through this direction go in this direction we're going to be adding some windows on this exterior door so taking out the garage doors as you can see we we don't have the garage door openers anymore they already gave those away to their to their kids oh okay Let's see so we're going to have see the step down there mm -hmm. step down right how that comes out to allow this door to open and this door to open mm -hmm. i see it and this is where this is where that one step down is and everything else is the same level so that's a little preview or overview, I guess you'd say, of what we do in a pre-construction meeting. It's like the handoff between their design team and the build. So that way they get all the details together and it's a really nice transition. Yeah, it's, it's a meet and greet and like you said, a, a transition meeting and they're starting to learn the team. Mm -hmm. But the team also got their eyes on the project. They're getting into some detail, but not going too detailed to where it takes up too much it's time or it's overwhelming for the client. So this is a good overview. They're paying attention to some of those details, but they're making notes and going to take all these questions to another meeting where they really get in depth. And at that point, they'll even uh, make modifications to plans, adjustments, and make sure that details are brought out and even drawn up if necessary. And we're going to show you all in another meeting in another video what that meeting is like. We call that our contract documents conference or CDC meeting. So we'll be showing y'all what that meeting is. But for now, this is the conclusion of this meeting and it, the client is really excited to see the team show up to work. That's the next thing they're gonna see is all the construction teams coming out now and they've got their appetite wet and they're anticipating a really nice tight schedule. They learn how to get on and view all that online as well. So we too are excited about what happens next.